Alright, who's alive? Sorry guys, just a minute. It's my first time ever going live, so we're gonna, I'm trying to get my computer hooked up to my phone so I can kind of watch more of what's going on. So give me just a second here. All right, we are officially live. This is the first ever live stream I've ever done on my channel. Uh, really the first live stream I've ever done, just period. This is new for me. This is exciting. This is, I don't know, adventurous. The reason we're doing this live stream is that we've hit 100 subscribers on the channel. 100 subscribers. Now, I know there's channels out there that have way more than 100 subs. That's fine, but for me to hit 100 subscribers, when I started YouTube about 10 months ago, <laughs> <clears throat> messing around my phone, making some videos, trying, a buddy of mine finally pushed me. He's like, man, just do YouTube. Go have fun with it. I never thought I'd get 100 subscribers. Uh, this was really the initial goal I set for myself was I want 100 subs. Let's see if I can make it to 100 subscribers. Then we'll go from there. Then we're going to, you know, really see if we can't build to 200, 300, 400, and so on. But I have to give back to the community of who all of you who have supported me in reaching this goal. So that's why we're down here. Uh, we are in my fish nook, I call it. You know, I've got the, the tanks up and around me. Um, God, man, this is so weird being alive. It, it's hard because you have to think on the fly, get things going. But we're gonna give a, we're gonna do a giveaway. That's right, we are doing a giveaway on this channel uh, to celebrate, but also for me to say thank you to all of you for helping me reach 100 subscribers. Now this is huge to me, and you know, I've been blessed in my capabilities that I've been able to build what I have down here. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> I also wanted to use this time to kind of chat. You know, I, I don't share much about myself on my videos. It's, it's so easy to hide behind the camera. You know, it's so easy to edit out what I don't want anyone else to see. And I've got a, well, it's hot, I'm opening a window. Yeah, as you can tell, I've never done this before. I've never been live. Loaves and fishes, hello. I appreciate, man. You're the first comment on this channel. Well, the live stream. So thank you. Thank you for joining me tonight. I had no idea who was going to show up to this. You know, and that's okay. I, I didn't expect a huge gathering, huge crowd, but that's okay. I still wanted to put this out there to say thank you live to all of those who have subscribed to my channel, this adventure I've been on. But as I was saying, I wanted to take this time to kind of chat, to kind of let, let you get to know me especially when you're going to be spending your time watching my channel and I'm trying to encourage that, I figure you might as well know who I am, who Trent Weldon is, and what kind of started all of this. I've shared my story a little bit, but there's a few things you don't exactly all know about me, and they all, I think it's time. Um, one of the things that I, I have never shared on my channel and I'm sure some, some people out there have picked up on it. I know that a few of my, my friends that watch this, they, they tease me all the time about this, and that's okay. Um, it's super easy with editing. I can, edit, I, said, I can edit out whatever I don't want you guys to see. I have Tourette's. And no, it's not what you see on YouTube. I'm not famous for it. I swear out of anger or frustration. I don't swear because I can't control it. I have different motor tics, though, that cause me to make, I call them well, noises, sniffing, grunting, different things. And oftentimes what you guys don't see when I'm starting a video is that I have to sit there for a second, like get it all out of my system. Then I can edit that chunk out and go on to the video. And you know what, nobody knows that. I've never shared that on this channel, but I figure for a hundred subs, you know, we're going somewhere. We've started this journey. I'm 10 months in, got 40 something videos out. <clears throat> First ones were horrendous. I mean, hell, I don't know if these are even great anymore. I'm just. All I use is my phone. I literally have my phone, I have a moment lens, I've done a little bit of audio equipment. As this channel grows, I plan on spending more and hopefully investing back into it, but that's another story. But really though, I, I, I have Tourette's. It's something I've lived my entire life. I, 
I've learned to accept that about me. I've learned to accept that I am different in that way. Growing up as a kid, it was very hard. Um, and this isn't my live stream of, oh, poor me, sob, 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 well, aquatics is so sad. No, this is just me sharing. If I can get behind the camera and I can overcome some adversity in my life, anybody else can. And, you know, this isn't for views. This isn't to get, you know, another hundred subs. This is literally me sharing a personal story about myself because I feel I owe it to you guys who have supported me in this. You know, it's something that's been a big part of my life. It's something that's a big part of my YouTube filming <clears throat> because there's times that I've actually filmed a segment of video and I go back in to edit it. My like, gosh, damn it, I gotta go refilm that portion of it because, you know, I sniffed in this part or I grunted in this part or, you know, I twitched my eyes in this part. I, I can't have that. I gotta, I gotta show uh, just a straight, straight up person in these videos. I can't share anything about myself. That's not who I am. But that's, that's not fair anymore. I, I, need, I need to share. I need to share what, I, what I'm doing down here. Um, what, else, what else we got going on down here? This is really different. This is really different for me because like when I make a, a video, sometimes I'll write down some notes. Other times I kind of go off the fly in my head. But the best part is though, if I have nothing to say, I literally pause. We'll keep filming and then I'll get my train of thought back in. Keep going and edit that segment out. But we're live. I, I can't hide behind anything. We're literally live. Let's see uh, what we got. <clears throat> oh, I do have a massive project coming up for Weldon Aquatics. It's probably not going to, videos really won't start rolling out until the beginning of the year. Hopefully this weekend I'm going to get it started. It's a new tank down here and I am super excited for this one. This one is going to be awesome. This one is going to be something completely different that you've never seen in my fish nook. Now again, I have to say that what I do down here, you can go find hundreds of videos on YouTube. Can't thank you. You know, I, I appreciate that little boost of support there. This is something different for me. But like I said, you can go find hundreds of videos out there on what I'm doing. I mean, where do you think I get the ideas from? I, I'm a YouTube junkie. Ask my wife, ask my coworkers. I'm constantly watching YouTube. I, I love learning the information, feeding off of it. And that's what leads into my giveaway. We'll get that, we'll talk about that. But really that's what allowed me to build all this. And as I started building this, I wanted to share back of this is what I learned. This is, like, I did it. I, I'm a small hobbyist. I did it. I found a way to do it. And I wanted to share that back to people. So that's why I started my channel. <clears throat> I mean, I, I don't expect this to go anywhere huge. I don't know how long I'll even do YouTube. Uh, I expect at least another year, maybe two. I got plenty of videos. Oh, that's a disclaimer I have to put out there on my channel as well is you guys will see videos and you'll see, like, the, the tank we set, the uh, Amazon puffer tank we set up. I did one video of it, setting it up, and I think the next video I released, it actually wasn't in that video. I make all my videos in batches. I'll come down here some nights, spend you know, two, three hours, film six videos, edit them over the week, and then slowly release them out on the channel. Uh, it, it just my work schedule, my family schedule. I, I mean, I would love to be able to come down here, film a set video, edit it the same day, and get it out that same day, and I just don't have that luxury. Or I, well, I don't create the time to do that, so I do it when I can. So that's why you see some things that are kind of out of whack in some videos. Like, wait, that wasn't there before. Well, that's why. I have to film these in batches and, and release them over time. Uh, let's see. But things are going well down here. Um, I don't know if you can see. God, man, it's goes so weird with the camera, like trying to point on camera. Hardest thing I'm still trying to learn. That there. This, this line running right here, and I've got a white valve right there. You'll see some up behind me above the 125. That is a new project I got installed. I'm actually going to wrap that project up tonight and hopefully get things running accordingly with that. That video will be out in the next few weeks. Um, I'm excited to share that with you. Uh, the planet tank here to, let's see, my right, your left, however this works. A little disclaimer, a little secret. We finally got some shrimp in this tank. I bought some shrimp at my local my local club auction. Finally got that going. Um, I'm excited to share that with you. We did, I've got a couple more videos coming out on this 33 gallon planet tank that, you know, it, it, that's kind of been really the focus almost on my channel down here lately. We've been talking a lot about my planet tank. And I know the last discussion we had, you know, was it an epic fail? Was it, and was it just epic? I'm excited to say like, things are going really well with this tank and we'll give, we'll give an update on that. 
<clears throat> what else do we have? Oh, I have another tank over here off camera. You can't see right now. We got to give an update on that tank. That's something completely new down here. So I say, we've got things rolling down here in the well in the aquatics fish nook. Like, things are going. And I just now have to just make the videos and get them out. Uh, the 220 around the corner is awesome. I love that tank. It's looking great. I, things are going well. So, we're 10 minutes in. I had no idea how long I was even going to go for. And, you know, I... The title says, you know, 100 subs and a giveaway. So I'm sure all of you are coming in and saying, you know, where's this giveaway? I want to know what's going on. I want, I want to win something. <clears throat> so here's the thing. When I hit 50 subscribers on my channel, how many months ago, I told myself that when I hit 100 subs, I want to give back to the community. Um, it's a double-edged sword, I'm not going to lie. One half of it, I'm doing it because I want more subscribers. That's so what I'm doing on YouTube. I want to make subscribers. The legit half of it, though, is I want to give back to people and support this aquarium hobby to those who supported me. I mean, I, I it's hard to explain, but I have found so much support in what I've done down here that I want to give back. You know, I didn't start YouTube to make money. I started YouTube to have fun. I legitimately started YouTube to have fun because I was having so much fun in my hobby. I wanted to give back, give back to people. So there's three things we're giving away, and I'm going to... Say it tonight. I know this is a really late live stream, so I do expect this to be watched over the next course of the week. And, you know, I said I was going live Thursday night. It's Thursday night. I mean, we're quarter after 11 here in Utah time on the West Coast area, whatever you want to call it. I had a hot date tonight, so that's why I'm doing so late. You know, I had to go spend some time with my wife and daughter. And, but we're here. So the giveaway. The first thing we're going to give away is I'm going to give away an original Weldon Aquatics t-shirt. I have two of them. You will, be the, I legitimately, there are two in existence of my original Weldon Aquatics t-shirt and I can't believe I'm not wearing one for this. I'm actually wearing my new Bulk Reef Supply jacket though. But one I've been wearing, one is clean. Don't worry, I promise it's clean. I'll even wash it for you before I send it out to the winner. Like it's, I promise it's clean. But you will be representing one of two shirts in existence. The other one I will continue to wear for my for my videos until I get more made. So that's the first thing we're giving away, because I thought that would be, I know, who, who doesn't like t-shirts? Everybody likes t-shirts. I mean, I bought t-shirts from fish people, so we're giving one Wilden Aquatics t-shirt away. And that was, these t-shirts were actually made by a good friend of mine, who is actually one of my, we'll say neighbor, he lives in one neighborhood over, he's close to me. Uh, his wife did a good job on them, she made them for me to get this, this channel started. And so that's something I, I wanted when I started this channel, so I'm like, I want an official t-shirt to wear in my videos. So, first thing is, well in the Aquatics t-shirt, that will be given away. Now, the disclaimer to this giveaway, and I should have said this before I got going, is this is only going to be to the United States. As I look at my analytics, I actually get a lot of views out of Europe, but I, just, I can't ship out there. It's so expensive, and you know all of this is coming out of my own pocket. I'm doing this just to give back to people. So, I'm sorry this is United States only, but those who are watching in other countries, thank you so much for the support, and hopefully as we continue to grow, I can do some do something for in the future. <clears throat> so the second thing we're going to give away, and this is something I want to give back, uh, is I started really thinking about this, you know, Kim, give away a t-shirt. I wanted to give something to you guys that supports a business that I have used to build my nook, but also has helped me inspire this. Now, none of this is sponsored. I reached out to this person to make sure it would be appropriate with him if I used his business name in this giveaway and you know a gift card of such nature, but this is none of this is sponsored. You guys have heard me talk about this. I have a few videos on this that I can link down in the description when this goes airs and officially goes on if I remember to. But who I'm talking about is Houston Manzanita. Houston Manzanita is a company that I have used for 98%, we can say like 98% of my hardscape down here in my fish nook. Now, Adam is the owner of Houston Manzanita. He does a fantastic job. Uh, the ghost wood in the 125 behind me, the maple leaf stone in the shrimp tank. I have some Manzanita wood in the 220 that used to be in the 75 I had. I have more ghost wood down here. I've got rocks from him. I've actually bought some fish from him. Um, and that Amazon puffer tank we did, that, that butterfly pleco I put in there, that's from Adam. So he does an amazing selection of hardscape. He has good access to fish. I mean, he, he does it all, and he's been such a good guy to work with. And I reached out to him and asked if he would 
be okay with me giving away a, a gift card for his business. So the second thing we're giving away is a $25 gift card to Houston Madison to suspend as you see fit. Uh, you will need to contact him through Facebook if you win. Let's say I can, once this goes, I will be contacting the winners by email and we'll figure all the details out and I can email you the code and the coupon you need to, to access that discount from him. So uh, please give Adam some love. Uh, he does run most of his stuff through Facebook. It's the Houston Magazine the Facebook page. Please go give that, face, that Facebook page a like. Show some support to Adam. He is, he, you know, he's smaller business, but man, his customer service is on point. I really wish, I would, I would work with more small companies if I knew their customer service was going to be so good. That's one reason I keep going back to Houston Madison. You know, he throws up new stuff all the time and it's hard because like, I don't need it, but I want it because it's great quality. It's a decent price and I want to support Adam. So uh, second thing we're giving away is a $25 gift card to Houston Manzanita. So please go show Adam some love. He's been a major support to me in, in getting this up and running. <clears throat> Now the third thing we're giving away, and this may come to no surprise to anybody because I talk about it so much on my channel. So much so I actually drove up to Washington to buy my Mubu Puffer from him. We're giving away a $25, $25 gift card to the Aquarium Co-op. When I first started watching Corey on YouTube, I won't lie, like my first video I watched of him, like, ah, oh, this guy knows nothing, like he's annoying. No, this, he's a freaking genius now. Like, I love watching his videos, and the reason is, is that he is a hobbyist at heart. Um, he does some incredible stuff. I love the support he gives to the hobby. I love the attention he gives to the hobby. Yeah, I just, I wish more fish stores were like him. I like how he treats his employees. I like his core values. Everything Corey does just makes sense to me, and the more I dig into his channel, it's so much fun to watch because that's where I've learned all my stuff from. Corey is who inspired me to really get this fish nook going uh, as I really planned this out. I mean, the original plan when I bought this house was on my wall here to my left, I was gonna build a 300 gallon system and keep a Giardini arowana in it and that was gonna be what I was gonna do for a fish tank. That was my whole plan, my whole goal. Well, then I started watching Corey, I saw his, saw his fish room excuse me so what he was doing and how he explained it he explains it in a way of you can do this too if you put your mind to it you can do this too so that's where we're at now i built this out kind of on inspiration from Corey. so to give him some love and also to give back to you guys we're doing a 25 dollars gift card to the aquarium co-op i already have that purchased i have it ready to email to you so there you are the three things we're giving away well aquatics t-shirt $25 gift card to Houston Manzanita and a $25 gift card to Aquarium Co-op. I'm still in the process. I gotta figure out exactly how we're gonna do this, but here's, here's how I do know we're going to give this away. I'm gonna let this run for one week. So next Thursday, I'm gonna kind of close it down as much as I can and probably that following Friday announce who the winners are of this giveaway. This is a full giveaway, it's not a contest, it's a giveaway. So what you need to do though, is I would, I would hope you subscribe to my channel. I'm not gonna force you to, I can't force you to subscribe to my channel. I hope you subscribe, but the following things I will be watching for, I need you to comment on this video. Comment a number, give me one, two, three, like, you know, first comment, give me one, second comment, give me two, third comment, give me three, or just give me a comment, give me a comment of, hey, good job, I, I like this about your channel. Give me some kind of comment down on this video. So once this airs, once this fully loads up to YouTube, you can go replay it, give me a comment. I don't care, like I say, I don't care if it's a number, whatever you wanna do, give me some kind of comment down in that description. Now, if you are the winner of this, I will reply to your comment and request some, some information from you and we will we'll go from there. We'll find out a way to do some private messaging so we can keep everybody everybody's information private, and we will exchange email addresses and we'll so forth go on from there. So that's what you need to do. You need to give me a comment on this video. I hope you share this out. Let's bring some people into this. Again, this is open to the United States only, but please share this on your, on your favorite you know, social media platform, YouTube, whatever it is gonna be. Let's make this a big giveaway. Let's really find 
some people to bring into this hobby. That's what I want to do with the giveaway. I, I hope this inspires others to come into this hobby because it's so much fun. This is, this is my place of peace and zen. So, I hope you subscribe. I hope you like this video. Please share this video. But the most important thing you have to do is if you want to get entered into this giveaway, leave me a comment as soon as this goes up live. We're going to run it run for one week. And from there, we'll do a random, I'll do a random generator on Google or something. We'll pick a name, three names, and we'll give away what it's going to be. I am, I'm going to do this. <clears throat> I guess I'm in charge of this, so I get to pick. The first person, so the first place winner, we'll call it first, second, third. The first person will get the Weldon Aquatics t-shirt. That's what we're going to do. So the first person picked will be the Weldon Aquatic t-shirt. The second person picked will be the Houston Manzanita gift card. And the third person picked will be the Aquarium Co-op gift card. Doing that order because I picked it. Um, it's my giveaway. But it's also, that's the order I thought of things to give away. First, I was going to give away a Weldon Aquatic t-shirt. Then I contacted Houston Manzanita and then we got the Aquarium Co-op gift card. So again, first person will get the Weldon Aquatics t-shirt. Original, like one of two in existence. The second person will get the Houston Manzanita gift card, and the third person will get the Aquarium Co-op gift card. So good luck to all of you. I hope this reaches far and wide. Again, thank you for your support you've given to me. I can't, I can't thank you enough for helping me reach 100 subscribers on this channel. I hope we continue to do good things down here. I, hope, I really hope I can inspire somebody to just enjoy this hobby more than you already are. And there's so much to learn, and there's so much to have fun with. So thank you for joining me on this live stream tonight. Um, I think we peaked out at six people watching. <laughs> uh, Witch Puffer, I have numerous of them. So yeah, if you guys got some questions here, I can go another few minutes. If you got some questions, I mean, I, of all five or six of you watching, we can, we can chat. Uh, my Puffer, so I have the Fahaka Puffer behind me, Kent. He's in the 125. She is doing fantastic. Um, the videos are out now, so I did remove that plec that royal pleco I had in there with her. Uh, he is no longer there, so she's eating again, doing really well. I've actually got a new fish in here we're going to talk about later. Trying to, I'm, I'm experimenting again, and we'll see how that goes. So the Fahaka Puffer Kiwi is doing great. Um, you know, the puffer I actually never talk about. Uh, Milo, my orange abai puffer down here in the corner, he just kind of got lost in the translation of things. He's doing very well. He was my original puffer I ever had. Did you realize behind the tape? Behind the tape would be puffer. Yeah, I can, I can pull you off the tripod here. We can walk around and do some things. So Milo's doing great. And then I have the, well, I, I'll show you the Fahaka puffer. I'm kind of, no, you know what? I can show you the Mabu puffer too. I, move, I moved the Mabu puffer over to the 220. So he is no longer in the 20 gallon here. That's why I did something new here. And we have the Mabu puffer over in the 220. I do have an update coming out on him. Definitely begin to have a live walk around. I, I know, that's the thing, is like, it's hard. Like, I want to do a live walk around, we'll, we'll do one. But I have things in the works, like I don't want to totally show you yet because I have videos planned out for them. But let's bear with me. I'm new to this. We're going to collapse the tripod as best we can without making the camera go crazy. Let's see if I can flip it around and we'll do a walk around. I'll give you a brief walk around. Kind of hide some things. Eh, kind of not. We'll see what we're doing. Do it, do it, do it. See your fish please. All right, here we go. I'm going to collapse this down. So I'm using a tripod, like I said. i got to work on collapsing this down. This is going to get interesting for a minute. Like I say, I'm just using my phone. Like I don't have anything fancy, equipment, nothing. But that's all right. I hope you guys are enjoying whatever view you're getting right now. All right, let's see where we are at. Well, I can't show you that yet. I gotta keep some secrets. All right, here we go. So this is the 125. Here's Kiwi, chilling out down there. The sand is all stirred up because I've been trying some new things, some new flow in this tank. So this is the 125. Uh, things are doing well. I've actually got a shop light uh, lighting this tank right now. And I had some videos planned on all this. This is hard to get out to. Get this stool out of the way. Um, the new fish we got in here. So we got rid of the pleco, but we actually, I found a, f a local person selling some flagtail prochilotus. 
And this is actually a fish that I've been wanting forever. Like next to the Flahaka Puffer, the flag tail is actually a fish I really wanted. So far, Kiwi and the flag tail are doing really well. He's been helping with some hair algae we have in this tank. I'm um, very pleased with that purchase. He went through his quarantine process. Everything's good there. So here's Kiwi. She's doing all right. She's mad at me. I turned the light on. I noticed at night she loves to just cruise around the tank, but she's, she's mad at me right now. All right, I do have a disclaimer. This can be sad. And I have a video coming. Hey, man, good afternoon from Australia. Good afternoon. Holy cow, Australia. That's amazing. Thanks for joining me. Um, if you see my video on my, my Amazon puffer tank, that is no longer in, in, in existence. Um, we had a mishap happen with that tank. I've got a video, I will, you know what, we'll, we'll, we'll skip that video and we'll just talk here. So this is Sparta, he's my flower horn. I, you've seen him on the channel before. So he got moved down here into this 40 breeder. Uh, that Amazon puffer tank we set up, I actually lost every single puffer in that tank. I noticed when I was befeeding, I noticed the numbers dwindling down over the course of the weeks that tank was set up to where I had zero Amazon puffers left. And when I took the tank down, I could not find any remnant of those puffer fish anywhere in the tank. I still do have all of the Synodon's catfish. I have the Royal Pleco, the Butterfly Pleco. Um, yeah, Dub Rex, I really appreciate you joining me. I mean, that's, that, that's, it's, it's amazing. I have somebody from Australia joining in my live stream. But I also love all you beautiful people who are local. So anyway, so yeah, the Amazon puffer tank is no longer, it's, it's no more. I moved all of the fish, the catfish and the plecos there over in the 220 Love and Life, and Sparta came down here to enjoy us in this 40 breeder. Uh, the best part about this is he's actually got even more personable since he's come down here. Um, my dog, Tucker, he loves coming down here and playing with Sparta. So he, he's a lot of fun. This has been actually a good move to have Sparta down here. And then the tank that I probably never, I talked about the least. Oh, sorry guys, I got so much stuff down here. Talk about the least on my channel is, and excuse the algae, it's water change night. So as soon as I get off the live stream, I'm actually doing water changes, is my orange abai puff from Milo. Ah, he's so hard to see. He's tucked, he tucks himself up underneath this wood here. He's a little, he's a little couch potato. But I plan on doing a feeding video where we'll actually get a good glimpse of him. He, I found out that he loves frozen tilapia. So I'll drop a piece in, he'll race out, grab it, then race back into his cave. So he is, he's been such a fun, fun, fun fish to keep. He was my original puffer fish. And I mean, check this Anubius out too. I got this from my, my auction recently. This thing is massive. I've never seen an Anubius this big. It's insane. All right, what else do we got? What else can I show you? All right, we'll do a quick glimpse of the shrimp tank. I have a video coming out on it, but we'll do a quick glimpse. Ready? Here we go. All right, that's all you're getting from me. That's all you're getting from me on that shrimp tank. I got some things planned for that. I'm really excited about that. I want to show the video with you. Um, we did rescape it. I do have a pair of fish in there I'm excited to talk about. So hopefully that's going to breed some good things for me here on that, on that 33. So that's the 33 gallon long shrimp tank. So I finally got some cherry shrimp in there. Really excited. That's going to be, that's going to be a fun tank. That is going to be a really, really fun tank. Uh, let's see what else can I say. So we've got... Since I have so much stuff down here, it's hard. Yeah, actually, something I've never shown. Well, I can't show you that yet. Nah, screw it, we'll do it. It's like one thing I've never shown you is the view. So, Dub Rex, that shrimp tank, it's a four foot long tank. So it's practically the same size as a 55 gallon, just cut in half. So it's like four feet long, 12 feet front to back, and I think like 12 inches tall. Really cool tank. It's just, I, when I found it, I knew it would be amazing to do the a shrimp tank in there just based upon those dimensions. And we've got some, finally got some good plant growth in there. Bumped up the CO2, working with the lighting, so things are going really well in there. Um, but so let's, let's go back to what I was doing. One thing I've never shown you guys is like the view I get when I walk into my basement. Let me show you this. And I'm going to give something away. There's the puppy. There's Tucker. He's so sad. All right, so like this is what I get. So if I come down here in my basement, I open this door up. 
Like, that's the view I get. I love it. It's freaking amazing. So like, I can't show you everything. Like, I got so much stuff I want to show you, but like, I can't show you yet. Let's just, I'll put it this way. All right, here we go. Ready? That's where Sparta's tank used to be. I moved Sparta down there. We got something new coming, and I have boxes below the camera right now that you can't see yet that I have all for a new tank build. It's going to be incredible. But I've got numerous people asking for this tank, so let's get some lights on, and we'll show you guys. <clears throat> Everybody's asking for the 220 here. All right, let's flip the camera around. Here is my baby. <laughs> So this is the 220 gallon system that we have set up. I've got a couple videos on this already. Um, the one video I did that kind of crashed and burned or I had it edited and was trying to make a good one is the scape I did in here. I was trying to be like, oh yeah, we're gonna come down here and get some like sweet shots of this tank and we're gonna be doing this and oh, we're gonna like cut into this section. We're gonna do some like, cool music to this. And as I started doing it, I was like, oh my gosh, like this is terrible. I just need to showcase the tank and like just enjoy the tank. But here's the start of the show. There is the Mabu Puffer. Finally named him. I have come to the name of Sergeant Sarge for short. And the reason behind that is when I drove up to Aquarium Co-op to pick him up, I had just recently promoted to the rank of Sergeant at work. So it just fit. He is my favorite guy. He's so personable. He's so much fun. Let's see. So in this tank, we do have plenty of fish going on in here. We got a few plecos in there. I still have all my geophagus in here with him. I have another flag tail protocolitis we put in here. And the good thing is like everybody is getting along in this tank. I've had zero aggression issues. He's actually eating better than he ever has in this tank. He's actually hungry. He got fed. Jeez, when did I get last fed? Well, I fed him yesterday. So he's not starving. But he is hungry. Got the quarries down here. So yeah, all the catfish I put in here, they love to hide back in this rock pile here. And I don't know about you guys, but I cannot get any java fern to grow for the life of me. Like it's actually pretty pathetic. This willow high grow is doing a lot better. This crypt is doing great. Got some newbies doing well. So I'm really pleased with this tank. Like just, you know, one thing we're doing is we're giving away that $25 gift card to Houston Manzanita. <laughs> This is him. This is from him. This piece of mezzanine wood is from him. This is actually the original piece that started my hardscape era. And that was in the 75-gallon uh, the tank I, I originally had. And thank you for the support. I saw the comment. Thank you for the support there on my 100 subscribers. It has been a bit of a road to get to, but, hey, we're, we're moving along. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys can see him. There's Francis. That's right. That red, oh, Move. That dude right there. That red-tailed shark is the longest living fish I've had in my existence. That's right. He came from my original fish tank my wife, my wife bought for me for Christmas like two years ago. Three years ago? Four years ago. Four years ago. Two foot glass tanks. <clears throat> yeah, good luck, Dub Rex. I mean, I have, I have so many projects I would still love to do down here. And my wife is like, nope, nope. All the fish tanks you have, you're done. Nope. <clears throat> Let's see here. I'm trying to think what I kind of show you on this. Oh, it's dark down here. The sump is doing fantastic. My idea has been working. Thank you. Thank you, Fisher, for that update. So I do dose some water column first, but yeah, I'm still, I can get everything else to grow like butt java fern. Let's see here. It's hard to see, but one thing I did add on here is this pipe here. So I'm just about done getting this tank set up on an auto water change system. So I actually added in a float switch pump. It works beautifully. And actually, let's walk back here. I've never shown this either. And you guys are getting like a major sneak peek. All right. I have a hidden 40 gallon breeder underneath my stairs I've never shown you. So what happens is when water changes from the 220, it pumps into this 40 breeder and then it runs down into the drain here. Now, the reason I have this here is I'm actually working on breeding. That's a whole other topic. Working on breeding some things for puffer food. I will make a video on this, I promise, and you won't hate me for life. All right, let's see here. 
<clears throat> One thing I haven't talked about, but I do plan on making a full-on video is of this pump right here. This is an ice cap gyre. This thing is incredible. Like it does, it gives me really good flow for this 220. I have really good success with that pump. Uh, yes, I actually have a total of six bristle nose in this 220. I have five, uh, kind of the regular common ones. I got some down here in the cave. I do have one calico. Who knows where he is in this tank right now, though. I also have the butterfly pleco in here, and I have the, ro the, the ranger pleco, and I have no idea where those guys are. I just had to turn on the lights, and I would love to see more of that. <clears throat> All right, so that's, that's, that's the 220. That's my baby. Still tinkering in that thing. I mean, I'm, still, I'm still really tinkering. Still really, really tinkering. Um, that's kind of fun. I don't know what I can show you. I'm trying to think. Well, I have that. I plan on doing a full release video on that. See, I, see that. I got things like, I, oh, I actually, I have something for you. <clears throat> Never shown this before. And this was a very, okay, don't judge me. This was a very first poor attempt, but it's going to get better, I promise. Check this out. <laughs> I started a saltwater tank and never showed you guys. We have one little clownfish in here. He's actually doing really well, I promise. You see all the cyanobacteria, like I promise, everything on that tank, he, the little clownfish is healthy. Yeah, I, I promise he is, he's not in danger. I'm, I'm keeping good care of him. Um, that was my first first ever saltwater tank. And it just, like I say, I, the reason it's in the state it is, is I have plans and it's going to be great. You will see, so give me a few weeks, get some things rolling. It's gonna be amazing, it's gonna be great. So I say, I've got little things all over the fish room that like, I'm, I'm still working on. What else do we got? Yeah, triggerfish are really cool. Triggerfish are awesome. Um, Dubrex is on the right path of where I'm going with what I'm saying here. Let's see. Actually, we'll show you these guys, too. Oh, there's Tucker. He's checking out Milo. He loves to come down and... Oh, nope, there he's going to... Loves to go play with Sparta and Milo. All right, guys. We're going back over to the shrimp tank. Check these guys out. That's the female. And that's the male. I recently, in my local auction, I picked up a pair of Praycox rainbows. So I really wanted a group of the Fricata rainbows in this tank. And there was a one, there's one bag, one group that came to the auction and it started getting high. Like it, it got to the point on price. I was like, no, nope, I got to cut this off. I set my limit. Then the pair of Praycox rainbows came up and I know they're dwarf species. I thought they'd look amazing in that planted tank. So hopefully I get some breeding action out of them. I've actually thought about maybe uh, even setting up something to where... Uh, just a specific breeding tank form, you know, getting some spawning mops and that nature in there and see if I can't get anything out of them. But that's been fun. That's been fun to keep them. Hi, right, buddy. <clears throat> that's about it. That's about what I have for you. So I got a lot of things in the works. Yeah, I, I bet. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've seen a few things come out of Australia. They're just absolutely incredible. Um, so far, I've been really enjoying freshwater tanks. It's that little 20-gallon salt water I started was supposed to be more than what it is. And like I actually, I think it was like two days after I got it running, I actually moved Sparta and I had that tank underneath Sparta. So it, it was, well here, here's my view. All right, Sparta used to be right there. There's a new tank going there. That's what we're, that's what we're gonna say. You wanna say hi? Tucker's giving me some love. Hey, buddy. Yeah, he's, he's like the official mascot of Weldon Aquatics. Like, this dog loves fish. It's, it's absolutely incredible. Let's see. I think we're going to wind this down. I'm, I got a lot of things to go do. I got to work down here. Uh, I really appreciate everybody joining me. Thank you. Like, this has actually been a lot of fun to do. I can't believe we've been going for almost 40 minutes. Archer fish, archer fish are incredible. I so bad want to get some archer fish for the 220. We'll see, though. I have my main focus right now is that Mabu buffer. But to recap, guys, so we are doing the 100 subscribers giveaway. So again, leave a comment on this video. That is how you are going to get entered into this. So once this uploads to YouTube and it has the replay option, give me a comment. 
Give me a number. Tell me your favorite fish. Tell me what you like about my nook. What would you change about my nook? Future things you want to see in my, my channel. And then I ask you to share this. Let's share this on your favorite social media site. Let's see if we can't get this to be somewhat of a decent giveaway. And unfortunately, this is going to be the United States only on this one. As I grow, maybe I'll look in to see if I can't do like an Amazon gift card or something for anybody out of, outside of the United States. But for those of you who are outside of the United States, thank you so much for your support. This has been an incredible journey these last 10 months to reach to 100 subscribers. And we got some new things coming down here. So... I am Trent Weldon with Weldon Aquatics. I appreciate all of you joining me on this lovely late night live stream, first ever. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Tugger. I'm trying to stop the video.